Okay. So, good morning, everyone. So, our topic for this week is about combinations. And actually, this is just very easy. And uh, um, for this week, um, we'll get to know the difference between permutation and combination. And actually, that, that was that's what was uh, presented a while ago during the video in our waiting time. And uh, we were um, oriented the difference between the two. Sige nga. If you listened so well a while ago in our um, waiting time video, when we say um, permutation, what do we mean? Type it in the chat box. Permutation. Permutation. What do we mean when we say permutation? Sige nga. And also, patingin, I would like to see your answers in the chat box. Okay, only one noticed it. So when we say permutation, your classmate is correct. Okay, exactly. So when we say permutation, we are talking about arrangement. So when we, when we arrange things, when we arrange objects, we are very particular with the order. Order of objects. And that's what we learned last week. Okay? Now, that's for permutation. For example, um, uh, when two coins are... Um, when a coin is flipped twice... So what are how many possible how many possible um, permutations are there? So we have the head and the tail. Tama? On the first toss, it could it's possible na head yung una and then um, tail yung pangalawa. Sorry, there are two coins. This is the first coin and then the second coin, either head or tail. Yan. If two coins are tossed first, it's possible that in the first toss, H is the first and then the second, it's also H. Tama? Or it's also possible na H yung mauna and then tail yung pangalawa. Uh, on the second one naman, or it's possible naman na there are the first one is a tail and then the next one, the other coin is a head. And also, it's possible na it's a tail and then for the first coin and then um, a tail again on the second coin. So we will, if we will look at all this, we're just reviewing our permutation. HH is the first one. First permutation. HT is the second. TH is the third. And TT uh, um, is the fourth permutation. And these are four different permutations. Because we are talking about four different arrangements, four different orders. Now, let's move on with combination. Again, for permutation, it's just a, a simple arrangement and order. But when we say combination from the word itself, combination, what did you learn from the video a while ago? What do we mean by the word combination? Type it in the chat box. What do we mean by combination? Thank you. Chloe is correct. What about the rest? Anong ibig sabihin kapag combination? What do we mean? When we say combination as compared to permutation, if permutation is arrangement, combination is selection. So in here, we are selecting. We are choosing. So therefore, order is not important. Okay, how is that? Let's take a look at this example. So in here, um, 
this is um H and H wala siyang wala siyang particular na wala siyang particular na um paki-alam pagdating sa pagkakasunod sulod nila basta H and H is just one magkabigtad man yan it's just one look at this for the second one HT in permutation HT is different from TH got it magkaiba yon kasi in permutation we are talking about the arrangement HT is different from TH. H is the first and T is the second. And it's different when we say T is the first and H is the second. For the combination, did you know that TH and HT is just considered as one combination? It's just counted as one. Kahit na mauna pa si HT or pang mauna si TH, wala siyang pakialam. Kahit na H yung una, T yung pangalawa, or T yung una, H yung pangalawa, it's nonsense. Because order is not important. Because what's important here is you will be able to select a head and a tail. That's it. That's just one combination. Disregarding the order, basta't nandun yung mga hinahanap mo, that's already counted as one. Can you follow? Let's have another example. Uh, let's take a look at oh, um, candles, for example. Uh, last week, we also discussed about sige nga, five candles arranged in three candle holders. I have a blue, um, a purple candle. I have a blue candle. I also have green candle. I have red candle and I have a brown candle. I black na okay, brown na lang. And I only have three candle holders. Okay. So, the question for permutation, in how many ways can I arrange these five candles uh, out of the three candle holders? So, nga, if you can still recall our lesson last week, um, how many um, permutations are there? So, nga, type your answer in the chat box once you're done. Okay. Sige. How many ways? Make sure you put your make sure you put your um unit as well. Okay. Thank you so much. Good. So we can use the NPR formula, right? The NPR formula, which is the n factorial over n minus r factorial. Or in other ways, you can just simply, since there are three candle holders. Just do the FPC. So it starts with 5, followed by 4, followed by 3. So therefore, uh, how many? They are 60 ways. So there are 60 ways on how to um, arrange all this in the candle holders. Now, that is permutation. That was permutation. I'm happy you can still remember what permutation is. So um, let's just cite some. Uh, for example, uh, we will put candle here. Let's just cite some. Ha, kasi 60 sila, sobrang dami. Let's just cite some examples. Uh, red, uh, blue, and green. For example, yun yung una nating napagtripa na tatlong candles na ilagay. That's one of the 60. Another is, mauna si red, Followed by green, followed by blue. Tama? Or another is, uh, it's also possible na mauna si blue, followed by red, followed by green. Oh, nakakatatlo na tayo, 3 out of 60. It's also possible that we will have blue, followed by green, followed by 
red. See? There are already four permutations here out of 60 ways. Let's have another. Uh, we'll start with green, followed by red, followed by blue. That's already our fifth. Meron pa ba? Yes, there's one more. Uh, we are just playing with the three, ha? Meron pang magkakaiba ng... We, we can also have other permutations. If we will combine... Um, Purple, blue, green, purple, blue, red, purple, blue, brown. We can also combine blue, red, brown, blue, red, uh, green, I'm, yeah, blue, red, green, red, brown, purple, etc. So there are so many ways. And actually, there are 60 ways. And we are just playing on three candles. Now, so far, we were able to make five. And this is already the sixth. Start with the green, followed by the blue and followed by the red. So, using this, ito pa lang so far yung na-identify ko. Using three colors, how many are they so far? With these three colors, I'm, also, I'm only using uh, the three colors so far, the blue, the green, and the red. Yun pa lang so far, where I can have different permutations pa. How many permutations do I already have based on this first Three candles. There are already six. Okay? Six. Take note of this. There are already six. And in permutation, there are six, six ways already identified sa permutation. Ganun ka-importante ang arrangement sa permutation. Can you follow? That's how important it is. Because one particular order is counted as one permutation. Remember that. But if we will look at this, if this is in permutation, order is very particular, very important. In combination, all these six are just counted how many? All these six permutations are just counted how many combination? This is, these are just counted how many? See nga? Ilan sila? Ilang combination lang itong mga to? They are just considered as one combination. See the difference between the permutations and combination? Okay. Now, I would like to make, uh, I would like you to make your own guess from this. How many combinations do you think are there um, when we uh, select three candles to be put in the candle holders from a selection of five candles. How many? Kindly make an intellectual guess and type your answer in the chat box. Let me see. Mark Musni already made his guess. What about the rest? If we will turn this into combination, considering all now all the five candles to select only three candles to be put in the candle holders how many ways are there sige nga aha uh -huh. isa pa lang ang naglakas ng loob na magtry remember in permutation there are 10 and the uh, translating just three there are six sorry uh uh, considering all the five, there are 60 ways. Translating only the first three color com uh, the, the first three color combinations, we got six permutations, but translated into one combination only. Now, if you will make a mathematical intellectual guess, translating the permutation to combination, how many combinations of color candles do you think can you put in these candle holders? Let me see. Uh huh. Your classmates are now making a guess. Thank you. Your classmates' guess is let's see, they said there are 10. Let me make it thicker to emphasize it. They said there are 10 combinations. That's what they said. Let's now see if that is correct. Okay? 
let me turn to this next page. Now, for us to verify if this guess of our classmates from 60 permutations, there are, it can only be translated into 10 combinations based on five candles being select or selecting only three to be put in the candle holders. Let's now get to know our combination formula. Ready? And our formula for combination is CNR is equal to N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. Okay, let's see. Uh, there are uh, uh, how many ways can we select? Uh, three candles to be put okay three candles from five um color candles okay selecting tayo huh selecting so let's Apply the formula, you know N. N is the total number. And R is the taken R at a time. At a time, ilan lang yung kailangan mo. Okay? So in here, we have... So N is 5 and R is 3. Let's do this in our formula. So we have C of 5 and 3 is equal to... N factorial, that's 5 factorial over R factorial is 3 factorial times N minus R, that's 5 minus 3 factorial. So this will end up with 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 5 minus 3, that's 2 factorial. Okay? So of course, we will solve this now. We will have 5 times 4 times 3 factorial to cancel the 3 factorial below over 3 factorial times since 2 factorial doesn't have any partner in the numerator, let's expand it times 2 times 1. Okay? And then from here, we can cancel out 3 factorial. And then we can even simplify 4 divided by 2. Sorry, this is 1. Again. Uh, we can even simplify 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. And you follow. And then uh, there's nothing else to be canceled. So therefore, we will end up with multiplying all the remaining numbers. So that's 5 times 2. That is 10 over 1. Over 1 is uh, not any more necessary to write. So there are 10 ways to select three candles from five colored ones. That's it. So we got 10 based from this computation, based from the formula. And looking at our analysis a while ago, your classmates were able to identify also the correct number of combinations by following or making this mathematical um, guess. So we were able to get 10 combinations, which was verified from our computation. That's it. So that's the difference between permutation, which is very particular about order or arrangement, while uh, in combination, this is just particular about selecting or choosing, regardless of the order. Just choose. For example, uh, how many are you in the class? How many are you in the class? So, so far, ngayon na lang kung ilan yung mga nandito. Okay, 53 sila. Oh, since nandito lang so far, ang present ay uh, 44. 45 tayong lahat. So, 
less uh, myself, we are, you are all 44. So, tignan nga natin. Kindly answer this by using the concept of combination. Ready? In how many ways can Sir Orland choose um, um, five na lang, five learners from uh, the 44 10, one atten Zoom attendees to make a computation about combination. Ready? Uh, let this problem be our activity. First activity, in how many ways can Sir Orland choose five learners from the 44101 Zoom attendees to make a computation about combination? Go solve this problem by using our formula which is N, I know it's C pala. C N R is equal to, kindly use your calculator, N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. Go. Type your answer in the chat box when you're done. In how many ways? Can Sir Orland choose five learners from the 44101 Zoom attendees to make a computation about combination? I'll wait for your answers in the chat box. Go. Go. 